to uh, the book of First Corinthians, chapter number eleven. I'm going to jump on down here because it, it feels like a little bit more like a Sunday school type setting. So I hope that's all right with everybody. Uh, instead of being up there, and then you know, lately we've all kind of been in one spot. So I'm down here now. Okay, uh, First Corinthians, chapter number eleven. Let's just review briefly because we've been working through studying books of the Bible on Wednesday nights. We want to understand these books. We want to understand what the Bible says. We want to interpret Scripture faithfully. So let's just review, understand this book of 1 Corinthians. So, who is the book of 1 Corinthians written to? Who is, it, who is Paul addressing? Yeah, the church in Corinth. Yeah, well, it does look like well, no, it's the Corinthians. Yeah, the church in Corinth. Now, what do we know about Corinth? Just, 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 just let, you know, let me hear your own words. What was Corinth like? I'm going to just move my mind a little bit. Well, yeah, okay, yes, it was a seaport. It was indeed, it was sitting on an isthmus. Uh, and in those days, you did not just, you know, Shipped by Amazon, and like nowadays, like I, I've heard, I've not seen it. I've heard in bigger cities that you, you know Amazon was delivered with drones. That's cool, but like you don't, they didn't have that back then. <laughs> if you wanted to get goods somewhere, you were always looking for the cheap. I guess they, they still kind of do it this way. If you want to get goods somewhere, you're looking for the cheapest and fastest way to do that. For the uh, for the Isthmus of Corinth, you know, you could sail a few days around the Isthmus. Or you could go where there currently is now a canal. Uh, back then, there was not. They had started working on a canal, even the Romans had begun to dug it, uh, to get dig it. Uh, but it wasn't quite. You know, they didn't have dynamite. So now, now there's dynamite. And boats can go right through. And what they would do then, especially in early Greek culture, they would have where they bring the boats up on land on a series of like logs and roll them across a little roadway, and then you know off the other other side. So it was a it was a shipping area uh, as as that was the case. A lot of a lot of goods were sold there. A lot of cultures were meshed there. People were going to Corinth to get rich and not so much for morality and holiness. To what modern city did we liken the city of Corinth? Mm -hmm. Las Vegas. That's right. There were even there were even sayings you know of Corinth back in the day that, that translate. Uh, you know, the same idea of what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. That's what Corinth was like. They were a very depraved culture, a defiled culture. And as people were being saved out of that, you can imagine there was a, a little bit of a messy church situation coming out of the city of Corinth. God had worked by uh, the hand, uh, God had worked through the Apostle Paul uh, to reach uh, some, uh, some people there, and, and a church was established and built, but after he had left, uh, there began some problems. And he addresses five, we, we categorize everything in five groups of issues. Uh, we've so far covered three, so let's go through them. What was the first issue he addressed? Yeah, divisions or, or cliques. Yeah, divisions within the church. They were divided. They were they were split. What else? What else? What was the second problem they were they were addressing there? Right, immorality. There was immorality in the church. In, in, in you know particular case, there was a man uh, who was having relations with his stepmother, and the church wasn't doing anything about it. They were, he was living in, in open sin, and in, in a sense, they were commending his sinful lifestyle. And so Paul addresses that and then addresses the correct union between the husband and wife and marriage and, and you know, God's standards of holiness. He po points out how we are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Uh, we're to serve God. We're, we're to, we're to uh, glorify God as the temple there. We have bought for the price. He, he pointed all that out. The third issue, we just covered that. Yeah. Well, the third group of issues. 